I didn't know you were awake. I swear. Don't worry about it. I only... I beg your forgiveness and your blessing. I am but a humble servant. You're back in Haven, my lord. They say you saved us. The breach stopped growing, just like the mark on your hand. It's all anyone has talked about for the last three days. <sighs> then the danger is over. The breach is still in the sky, but that's what they say. I'm certain Lady Cassandra would want to know you've wakened. She said, at once. And where is she? In the Chantry, with the Lord Chancellor. At once, she said. him. That's the herald of Andraste. They said when he came out of the Fade, Andraste herself was watching over him. Hush. We shouldn't disturb him. I believe Seeker Cassandra would like to speak with you. nothing to do with us. That is isn't Chancellor Roderick's decision, sister. Have you got completely mad? He should be taken to Val Royo immediately, to be tried by whomever becomes divine. I do not believe he is guilty. The prisoner failed, Seeker. The breach is still in the sky. For all you know, he intended it this way. Chain him! I want him prepared for travel to the capital for trial. Disregard that and leave us. You walk a dangerous line, Seeker. The breach is stable, but it is still a threat. I will not ignore it. I did everything I could to close the breach. It almost killed me. Yet you live. A convenient result in so far as you're concerned. Have a care, Chancellor. The breach is not the only threat we face. Someone was behind the explosion at the Conclave. Someone most holy did not expect. Perhaps they died with the others, or have allies who yet live. I am a suspect? You, and many others. But not the prisoner. I heard the voices in the temple. The Divine called to him for help. So his survival, that thing on his hand, all a coincidence. Providence. The Maker sent him to us in our darkest hour. You can't honestly believe I'm any kind of chosen one. We are all subject to the will of the Maker, whether we wish it or not. No matter what you are or what you believe, you are exactly what we needed when we needed it. 
the breach remains. And your mark is still our only hope of closing it. This is not for you to decide. You know what this is, Chancellor. A writ from the Divine, granting us the authority to act. As of this moment, I declare the Inquisition reborn. We will close the breach, we will find those responsible, and we will restore order with or without your approval. This is the Divine's directive. Rebuild the Inquisition of old. Find those who will stand against the chaos. We aren't ready. We have no leader, no numbers. And now, no Chantry support. But we have no choice. We must act now, with you at our side. What is the Inquisition of old, exactly? It preceded the Chantry. People who banded together to restore order in a world gone mad. After, they laid down their banner and formed the Templar Order, but the Templars have lost their way. We need those who can do what must be done united under a single banner once more. But aren't you still part of the Chantry? <laughs> Is that what you see? The Chantry will take time to find a new Divine, and then it will wait for her direction. But we cannot wait. So many Grand Clerics died at the Conclave. No, we are on our own. Perhaps forever. You're trying to start a holy war. We are already at war. You are already involved. Its mark is upon you. As to whether the war is holy, that depends on what we discover. If you're truly trying to restore order... That is the plan. Help us fix this before it's too late.
No, my lord. I don't know where the other nobles are. I suggest you ask Ambassador Montillier. Oh, you're him. Thren, Inquisition Quartermaster. I'm doing what I can to supply this mess. If you find what I need to fill one of my requisitions, I'd appreciate you bringing it in. What did you mean when you mentioned requisitions? I'm making this Inquisition run with what we have, but we're not a real army. We're stretched thin on materials, so I've put up a requisition list for anything that could help our people. Here, take a look. You find some iron and a good logging site, maybe Harrit can get our troops better weapons. If I have material for a special order, do I bring it to you? Just take it over there. One of my boys will take the materials or jot down what you found. Farewell. Make a go with you. If you find anything we need, let me know. So, now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. It's not so bad. I'm taking it in stride. Better than most of us, then. For days now, we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and maker knows what fall out of it. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. If it was that bad, why did you stay? Cassandra said you were free to go. I like to think I'm as selfish and irresponsible as the next guy, but this? Thousands of people died on that mountain. I was almost one of them. And now there's a hole in the sky. Even I can't walk away and just leave that to sort itself out. The breach needs to be sealed. The sooner, the better. If it can be sealed. You might want to consider running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky... That's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. You built for them the Golden City, the center of all creation. And for a time you dwelled among them. Good day. Watched over or them. good as it could be with as the sky rich part. The earth for the first signs of life. Can I see what you have for sale? Of course. My wares are at the table. 